morning everyone, what a comfy little sleep I just had in my comfy little bed in my comfy little new house. Let's grab my tools, let's grab my armor, and let's start another episode of Prototype 73. So guys, welcome back to Prototype 73. We are in episode 7 now, which means there is as many episodes as Prototype 73 Skyblock as there is Experiment 73. So... Finally, this will no longer be considered a short-lived series. It's been another month. But for those of you who are not at my age yet, try being in the final year of high school and doing YouTube videos at the same time. And for those of you who are older than me, think about your last year of high school. Was that stressful? I mean, if you don't really care about your grades, it's not. But if you do, then it freaking sucks, doesn't it? I mean, you literally have like so much things to worry about and like you're reaching adulthood and you have exams coming over the place. And unlike earlier exams, if you failed that exam, you pretty much fail your entire life. So just give me three more months, all right? Three more months, then the upload schedule is going to be crazy. Trust me. But anyways, a quick recap of the last episode uh we created some emerald armor an emerald sword and an emerald paxel we also created a shield too so now we are an emerald warrior we created another platform next to our mob farm and up there we built the perfect dream house well i mean it looks like a cardboard box but no one told me what to do so yeah and from now on thanks to this so-called cardboard box we no longer have to sleep in the open field where i'm highly likely to be attacked and you know it's just basically an upgrade to life so this house or this cardboard box whatever you want to call it is awesome it's a bit empty in the inside and a bit ugly on the outside but you know we started off with a single tree what did you expect so that was last episode and now what i want to do this episode is uh you see these furnaces over here now, in episode 5, I said they need to go. I mean, seriously, we're burning coal. Think about all the animals. Think about climate change. Think about the earth. Think of- Well, this is Minecraft, so it doesn't really matter. But, like, these furnaces are still inefficient. I mean, like, who am I kidding? We're gonna run out of coal to burn someday. So, in this episode, I am going to create what is called Redstone Furnace, which is this little baby right over here. But before I do... There's an issue that I need to fix in our current world right now. And uh, that problem is, you see this lava generator that I created like two episodes ago? The amount of lava in there is 4,000. Like every time it's 4,000. So this thing is full of lava and uh, it looks like it's not generating any. Because like, well, how could there be so much lava in there? If, you know, the crucibles itself are that damn slow in the first place. And the answer is... These magmatic generators are slow as crap. I mean, it takes 6.25 seconds for it to turn 1 20th of a bucket of lava into RF. And you know, you can argue like there's four of them working together, so you know, they're faster that way. But you see our auto machines over here? I mean, some of them are filled with energy, but like some of them, for example, this one, this one has barely any RF. Same with these machines as well. Look at this. This is. It's still 20 FE and it's generating ever so slowly. And you know, if all of them are consuming all of the energy that this generates, then this capacitor bank should be full. Because if you think about it, we're using more energy than we need. So then it'll output all the remaining energy into this capacitor bank. But look at this. This thing is not even getting like one RF, or sometimes it does, but like this thing is empty as crap. So what I want to do this episode is uh, I want to speed up the energy generation of our lava machines. And that you may say the obvious solution is to create more magmatic generators, but that's not really practical if we continue our game because first off, in order to have enough, we'll probably need like four or five more rows of magmatic generators. And second, these magmatic generators are not cheap. Look at this, five gold ingots, a lava bucket, a furnace generator. So yeah, these magmatic generators are not that efficient. So yeah, obviously we can't make that many magmatic generators. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll probably create two more. There we go. Two more magmatic generators. Hopefully that will fulfill your wishes. So I'll just move this basic capacitor bank right over here. Oh crap, my alloy smelter is still here. I forgot about that. And there we go. So this alloy smelter, uh, I'll find a place for it. Okay, so now it's time to answer the question. If I'm not going to create more magmatic generators to you know enhance this machine, then what am I going to do? Come up with an answer, Oscar. And to that I say, you need to calm down, speak to a therapist or something. You sound freaking pissed. So what I'm going to do instead is um, I'm going to use speed upgrades. So 
This over here, when placed in a machine, does what it says, you know, upgrades its speed. And for every speed upgrade that a machine receives, it'll basically like duplicate itself. So if it receives four speed upgrades, it's gonna be five times faster. If it receives 16 speed upgrades, it's gonna be 17 times faster. And if it receives 64, then it'll be, you know, 65 times faster. I think it's bad. So I'm gonna put four speed upgrades into each of the magmatic generator. I have one, two, three, four, five, six over here. So I'm gonna need six speed upgrades. Now to create a speed upgrade, first of all, we need a resonator. Not that hard to create, just the block of coal and the resonating redstone crystal, which needs an ender shard. Do we have any ender pearls? Yeah, yeah, I killed plenty of them. Six ender pearls. Yeah. Have a Wait. I just chucked one right into the void. <laughs> Wait, why didn't it teleport me? Wait, if I chuck it into the void, shouldn't it teleport me in, like, to death? Wait. Wait, what? I'm supposed to die right now, aren't I? Well, <laughs> apparently ender pearls don't work if you throw it into the void, which kind of makes sense because, you know, there's no surface for you to land on. Oh my god, that could have been bad. I threw- I, I didn't know- I, I wasn't even trying to right-click. I think I was trying to open a crafting table or something, but then, like, I- my finger slipped or something. I, I don't even know what happened. Jesus Christ, that could have been bad. Thank God ender pearls don't work that way. Oh well, we lost an ender pearl. That's still pretty bad, but it could have been way worse. So we need a glass cutter, which um cuts glass, but in but in this case we're cutting an ender pearl apparently. So there we go. Ender pearl uh, cut. Jesus Christ, this whoa, this looks like pizza. A kind of disgusting, sort of peely, dark pizza that looks extremely unappetizing okay so there we go we have a resonator there we go so what we need to do with this resonator is um we need to put gold slabs in there so basically what that does is it turns a weighted pressure plate into an upgrade base and we need upgrade base to you know craft it upgrade speed so common sense so we have six magmatic generators six times four is 24 so we need 24 speed upgrades so let's start off by crafting 24 weighted pressure plates i'll uh, put them in here and we need power in order for this to run so I'll sort that out in a bit. We also need 24 redstone blocks. So that's going to be a whole bunch of this redstone. I don't think that's even enough. There we go. 24 blocks of redstone. And uh, we need 24 normal gold ingots as well. So I'll save that for later. So power. So we need a thing called GP. I've no I think that's called grid power. And what I need to do is craft a manual mill. Which um, gives me 15 GP. So what I need to do is first create a redstone gear. Which you need redstone torches. So craft a couple of these. Get this redstone gear. And there we we oh wait crap wow what convenience i just so happened to have stone in my inventory wow and then of course we need a red st resonating redstone crystal so there we go a manual mill so this should make the what the hell well this looks extremely funny i mean um i think it's because of my shaders it's m interfering with the texture of this so so what i need to do is just you know click on this for god knows how long until 24 of this has been generated so i'm gonna put a stapler on my mouse there we go wait crap i, I can't even get it to balance wait stay there stay no come on come oh you would think because like i did it with thieves that many times i should have the hang of it but apparently i don't so this stapler just needs to go here oh, okay this jbl stay here all right all right there we go okay okay there we go so hands free now um i'm gonna go start, grab something to eat i'll be right back Okay, it is done. So now we have our 24 upgrade bases and now we can finally craft our upgrade speed. So there we go. Of course, maximum stacking of four. So yes, need more inventory space. What can I get rid of? This door we don't need, stone we don't need, stone pass we don't need. Uh, that's it, yeah. Oh gosh, even our chests are freaking full as crap. Okay, so now we got our speed upgrades. Now we can put them all inside our magnetic generators and uh Oh no. Oh crap, I forgot about something. These upgrade speeds also need constant energy in order to operate. So, um. Ugh. 
we're gonna have to create solar panels. And we need 27 solar panels. Jeez. I thought I've learned from my mistakes. Like, this manual meal is not gonna create enough energy. I mean, obviously not. This thing only generates 15 grid power, so we're gonna need a bit more than that. So what we need are solar panels. And in episode 4, I made these solar panel tier 2s, but um, we're gonna need another different type of solar panel. These, and it's called this. And one of them gives 1 GP, so uh, we're gonna need 27 of them. So grab all our lapis. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, polished stone. We need more polished stone. Jeez, let's just grab the rest of our stone and just turn them into polished stone. I mean, freaking hell. No, actually half of it. Yeah. And we need a resonating redstone crystal. So we have six left. That's not gonna cut it. <laughs> Get the joke because we cut the end of No, okay. I think I'm just gonna use all of my ender pearls on this thing. I mean, because I think we're gonna need a lot of ender pearls. Because, um, spoiler alert, we also need, um, lunar generators as well. Because solar panels only work at night. I said that, like, how many times in my previous episodes? Like, I said that many times. Like, I mean, the whole reason, pretty much, I switched to this lava generator was because, you know, solar panels only work at night. And that is not helpful. I mean, there's a chaotic solar panel which generates freaking... 4 million FE per tick. And Jesus Christ, I don't even want to know what this means. 4 awakened cores, draconic, and I don't even want to know. Like, I don't even want to know. Anyway, let's create those damn panels, shall we? So let's put all our shards in here. Cut them all up into freaking resonating redstone crystals. I'm going to leave 6 of them here. It's 27 solar panels. I'm... I don't know where to put it. Jeez. I'll just put it in our cobblestone platform for now, alright? I mean, is it is this 27 blocks wide? I mean, let me just, let me just look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Whoa. Wait, you can do that? Whoop. Well, nope, you can't. <laughs> okay, so they're apparently only generating 0.95 right now. Which means I probably need a bit more. So let's just fill up the rest of the two worlds. Now, of course, we're going to need our lunar panels as well. I mean... When have you heard that last sentence? So what we're gonna need is, oh god, my frame rate. Look at this, 22 frames per second. I'm sorry guys, this is gonna be a really laggy video. But anyway, we need this lunar reactive dust. So do I have any more lapis lazuli? Oh wait, they're all here. Let's grab our remaining lapis lazuli because we're gonna need 39, that's 13. So 39 lapis lazuli, all that needs to be turned into lunar reactive dust because we need the lunar panel. So time to get to work on the manual mill again. Okay, uh, where's my JBL? Okay, there uh, place it right over here. Oh, oh this is unstable. All right, there we go. Oh, crap. All right, just put that on the mouse. Just put it on the mouse. Is it really that hard? Okay. There we go. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, oh, what a long day of grinding. So now we got our 39 uh, lunar reactive dust. So we can now put it like this, and there we go. We got our lunar panels. So this will have one more row in our, you know, panels area in our cobblestone. There we go. And there's one more lunar panel. We have no room for you, so be free! Oh, that was sad, wasn't it? So now we have our solar panels and lunar panels that are so freaking damn hungry could now help the lava generator generate more lava. So now it doesn't take 6.25 seconds. It takes... I'm not bothered to do maths. I think 1.25, but... I'm not bothered to do maths. So now it's five times faster. So now our basic capacitor ba bank is filled with RF. So, you know, now we don't have to worry about energy generation anymore. I, well, the lava amount in the crucible is still worrying me. Oh, well, at least it's getting used up now. So now after all we've done, it's finally time to craft our redstone furnace. So... First of all, we need a machine frame. So I'm going to need six of them. So six copper gear. Oh, wait, the no, 12 copper gear, actually. So, oh, we need... Do we have more copper? Okay, well, we, have, we don't have any more copper. So let's go grab some. Let's grab three stacks of copper ore pieces. And we need tin as well, don't we? Wait, how... Wait, where does tin come from? Oh, no. We don't have any more tin. One small problem is turning into so many big ones. Let's go grab our iron stiffened mesh and uh, put it into our sand sieve. So now it should generate tin. And I'm, I'm not sure how to... Long this is gonna take. I'm not even sure how much tin we need. Let's just create everything else first. So, do we have any more bricks? We need 12 bricks. Okay, there we go. I just got the clay. Now we need to put them into furnaces. Uh, thank you for the copper. Okay, so 12 copper gears. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, what else? 12 redstone. I think we got that. Actually, no, we need more redstone because we need this thing. So, we need gold as well. Jeez. So, 12 of... No, wait, no, only six of this. We need glass as well. So, um, 
in you go into the furnace. Okay, I think we got enough of everything. So we got all of the, we got everything to create a machine frame and we got everything to create the redstone furnace itself. So all we're missing is the machine frame because we're missing the tin gear. So is there a faster way to can get tin? Because, uh, no, you have to smelt. They're all like smelting. Wait, I always smelt it. Oh wait, no, they're all smelting. So, um, who the frick do you think you are? Well, unfortunately, this is our only way of generating tin, and, uh, I mean, we don't even have one tin piece yet, so, I mean, I'm not sure how long this is gonna take. Oh, wait, there are other ways of creating tin ingots. Wait, hang on. Induction smelter. Wait, okay. We need- I need your ender pearl. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I just used up all my ender pearls on speed upgrades. Thank you. We just got one tin or piece after, like- five minutes of this thing saving and we need 96 of these because remember we need 16 which means we need 24 tin ingots which means we need 96 tin all pieces so um i'm gonna let this run for a couple of hours and and then come back after it has done its thing so um be right back Okay, so it's been a while. Uh, it's raining right now, but I'm not Zeus. I, I can't really control that. And this chest should contain enough tin. There we go. So I, we need two stacks. Oh, well, I, we need 96, but you know, two stacks just for safe. And there we go, the tin or chunks. So we got tw 32 of them. So I'll just split them in six sections. And into the furnace you go. And hopefully, after all this trouble, this will be the last time we ever use our furnaces okay so i'm just gonna collect the tin right now because i can't wait this is very exciting you can keep smelting our uh, mine you i'll mine you down later anyway because i don't need you anymore okay so we have everything for the redstone furnace itself uh we have everything for the machine frame except for for tin gear so if we just craft the six tin gears right like this we get our machine frames okay we're missing something ah we're missing iron like we should have enough iron right what the heck well, apparently we need two more. But <laughs> that turned out well. All right, chuck them in there. We just need two more. There we go. So we got our six machine frames. And there we go. So so now we can craft our machine frames. And uh, we got our six machine frames. So now all that's left is the redstone furnace itself. And there we go. <laughs> this took like how long to make? I mean, I've been recording in total for about an hour and a half. Of course, some of that time was spent to speed up our magmatic generators. Actually, most of it was. I mean, these lunar panels and solar panels, you caused me so much damn trouble. Oh, look, it's sunny again. But now, with these redstone furnaces, we don't need these furnaces anymore. So let's just collect everything from the furnaces. Uh, there's still iron smelting in that one. You're, you're spared. You'll be killed last. Thank me. So these furnaces will probably just be stored here for crafting purposes. I mean, I have no use for you because we now have an upgrade. And there we go. Oh, now, I place them in the horizontal pattern, and there's a reason for that. Instead of, you know, just placing it th in a 3x2 area over here. But what this does, right, is basically, you see these furnaces? You know how it used to take coal, and then you smelt down something, and then it turns into, you know, whatever it needs to smelt down, right? That That's the basic principle of Minecraft. If you play vanilla Minecraft, you should know that. But what these furnaces do is, um, it doesn't take any fuel. I'll give you a demonstration. So basically, if you take some more iron ore pieces, turn them into iron core chunks, because, you know, like, you just place them down into the rest of the furnace you don't even need it to smell yeah did you think it was really that simple of course not but i was not lying it doesn't require any fuel it doesn't like burn down coal what this redstone furnaces require is rf and if you remember we got infinite rf generating right over here so you know rf is not a problem well coal is also not a problem because you know we have infinite coal generating here but like why use coal when you can use rf so of course we need the energy conduits to go all the way to our furnaces and as you can see we only have five energy conduits so that's not getting us anywhere so earlier in the episode i was collecting these conductive iron ingots if you remember so now all that's left to do is just create more energy conduits so there we go we have a stack in a bit so if we connect all of these furnaces up to the whole rf generating system uh i'm i'm digging because i don't want to like have a wire going through like the surface of this i mean i already think this is messy like i'm gonna trip over here anytime so i'm gonna have the energy conduits go underground so just connect it like this so this should be giving the furnaces power uh, once we connect it up of course I'm gonna go one lower just so that I could put the end of the conduit down there. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Okay. Right here, right here. Okay, I think it's placed. No, it was not. Okay, this is very delicate procedure. Okay, okay. 
Oh my god, don't try this at home. You'll probably die. Okay, is it connected? No, it's on the other side. Okay, what the heck? Oh, I can't see anything. I literally can't see anything. Oh my god. All right, click it, click it. Okay, there we go. Oh, that took some doing. I'll collect this energy conduit right here and bucket up this water and pour it back in so that, you know, save a bit of inventory space. And now we just need to dig a path to the rest of the conduits. Look at that. I'm mining cobblestone and wood with the same tool. Okay, so connect it up here, and then after these conduits are connected, we should have energy going through the whole system. And after that, I mean, we have a whole new system of smelting. Okay, moment of truth. If I place down one more energy conduit, this should make it so that our redstone furnaces are working. All right, three, two, one. Run back here, run back here. And... There we go! <laughs> Our redstone furnaces! So now, if we put the iron core chunks inside there, it now turns it into an iron ingot. And there it is! So, this redstone furnace actually transports its smelted items to the chest on its left, so that's why it's doing that. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, I need to cover all this up. I mean, we won't fall anything because, you know, the wires will catch us, but, you know, that just looks ugly in our base. I mean, I spent a lot of time making that this place look cool. I, I needed to look cool. Okay, there we go. So, I just need to get out of here now. Okay. So, there we go. So, now we have an underground cable system that is bringing all the energy into redstone furnaces. So, this redstone furnaces uses RF, which is, you know, basically the equivalent of electricity in this game. And look at how fast it is. I mean, just look at this. All right, let's time this all right one two three four five seconds five seconds to smelt down one item and now we have another iron ingot so and now look at this normal furnace we, we put first of all we have to put coal in there which is a struggle by itself and then we have to smelt it down like one second two three four five six seven eight nine Nine seconds. I mean, this is twice as fast or almost twice. Well, I don't really know. I, my counting might be wrong, but this is about twice as fast and it doesn't use up energy. So no use for you, furnace. In with the rest of the furnaces you go. You're lucky you're used for many recipes. Otherwise, I'll just chuck you into the void to save chest space. So you're lucky, mate. So these furnaces are basically Teslas, you know, fast and it uses electricity while, you know, the furnaces are, I don't know, some Fiat 500 or something. Would you rather have a crappy Fiat 500 or a freaking Tesla? Of course you have the Tesla, right? So, yeah. These redstone furnaces are the way to go. But, um, other than this newfound invention, well, it's more like a discovery. But we have now come to the end of this really long, unexpected episode. Hope you guys have all enjoyed it anyway. And I didn't bore you to death with all these useless facts. If you did, make sure you hit a like on this video. Uh, let's see if we get to, um, well, we haven't been doing this recently, huh? We've only hit a like goal twice since I restarted this channel. So I'm not going to aim high again. Let's go for a single digit, in fact. Let's go for five likes. Oh, dear. I live in a world where my like goal is five. <laughs> of course. Subscribe to this channel if you want more of this wholesome content. Wholesome content, guys. Trust me. And uh, yeah, other than that, that's really all I have to say for this video. So um, leave a comment as well because I love you guys' feedback. And I grow myself as a YouTuber because of your feedback. But other than that, that's all for this video. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Goodbye.